Now we have the setup bonnet off the machine and it's attached to the ravel cord and then the scrap yarn and then your initial setup bonnet or just your, um, your cast on if you did not yet have a setup bonnet. Our first step is to take the tail end and thread it into a darning needle. And then this is a pocket. This little hung hem makes a pocket. So you can simply thread the darning needle into the pocket, come back out the other side. You can see it's not coming all the way through. It's just in the space in between and then pull it out and cut off the end. Very easy. Next, Turn your project inside out and we're going to remove the ravel cord. I start with the loom tool and unknit a couple of the ravel cord stitches just to make sure. Remember we overlapped them at the beginning and you just don't want them to get caught on each other. So it's <laughs> there we go. Just take a couple stitches out. And then take the end, wrap it around your hand, kind of brace inside with the other hand and just pull. And it pulls right out, no problem. You can separate the two pieces. And here is your setup bonnet and this is the last tail end that needs to be woven in. This is really the one from the beginning of the project. Same thing, there's a hem at the beginning as well. So we just tuck it into the hem, pull it out. Turn it right side out. There we go. These are the little eyelet holes that you made and we're going to thread the ribbon through there. So again, the ribbon can also go on to your darning needle. It doesn't matter where you start. So you go in one and out the other. And you just continue like that all the way around in the next one. Here's the last one. And you can make sure it's all situated like you want. And cinch it up. Tie it in a bow. You can trim the end if you don't want it to be quite that long. And then to keep the end from running, I usually just make a little foil cup and put a drop or two of fray check. And then you can just dip both ends of your ribbon into the fray check. And this will help keep them from running. There we go. You can leave that to dry. Then you have a completely finished setup bonnet. I hope you're happy with how yours turned out. There's another video at dinabean.com or on our YouTube channel for how to cast on using your setup bonnet. And we hope you'll share pictures of your project with us on social media. Thanks so much for cranking along with us. Happy knitting. Visit us at dinabean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.